are excited to bring you with us over the next few days whilst we test the performance of our world-leading gimbal propellers. As you know, Veeam has been manufacturing world-class propellers for the last 20 years. And time and time again, they have outperformed hand-finished Class 1 and S-Class propellers in all categories. So this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. We've moved the goalposts. We're excited to bring you on our journey to test the fuel savings and speed gains of our brand new Veeam Extreme Series. So come with us as we compare the industry standard Class 1 propeller with the Veeam Series Nibbles and then our brand new Veeam Extreme. Super quick, super cool. This test is really exciting for the Veeam team. Uh, lots of work has been done behind the scenes to push the performance of these propellers, but none of us knows what will happen during the testing. To bring a concept to life through design and then complex manufacturing like this, you can imagine what it's like to jump into the real life testing for the very first time. And it's pretty nerve wracking. Sea trials were conducted over a split three day period. The days beginning with our baseline class one hand finished propeller. On day two, our test of Nibral Veeam series propellers finished better than S class tolerances. And finally, our Veeam Extreme. Good morning, you've joined us for day one of our sea trials. Ahead of us, we have three days of trials, three sets of propellers. The class ones are currently fitted on the 64 Viking and uh, we're gonna give them a good test today. Morning, Craig, good to see you, buddy. Morning, Sam, mind your step as you jump on. Perfect. Beautiful. Come on through, let's get this underway. Joining us today, we'll have an independent witness of, of our result. So we've invited Lloyd's, uh, Lloyd Surveyor along to witness our tests. Uh, really from the point of an independent verification of the work we do. Basically just here to make sure that the baseline that they're using is consistent in terms of the, the load for fuel on the vessel and the trim of the vessel, uh, the displacement, and then we're verifying the propellers as they're fitted. So today we're testing a class one prop and we're recording uh, the power settings, fuel consumption from the engines. Down here we've got a vibration monitor, so we're actually uh, logging accelerations at the racket on the shaft and we're also taking some uh, acoustic noise measurements. Since this boat was delivered back in 2006, this actual run that we're doing here has been the test run for the original propellers and every other test we've done with the propellers for trialling. We've got protection from an island on this side uh, and it's a constant depth all the way through. And at the moment we're running 35 and a half knots and we've still got 500 RPM to go, so she's gonna boogie. That's it, nothing left. Let's go. Now I'm running out of room, so they better be quick. So I've just finished the first of a number of trials. Um, the trial we did today, we were dealing with a class one propeller. This is a hand finished propeller, quite inferior in terms of performance compared to what we'd normally build, but it does give us a benchmark for industry standards of what, where we're at. So once we've got the next props on, we're back in the water. We'll see you back here for the next trial. So here at Veeam, with our Beyond S-Class propellers, we finish with our CNC machining, and that's everything from the hub all the way through, right back to the back of the blades that gives us this perfect edge. It guarantees performance across a series of vessels, as many of our repeat customers know, and uh, it's the reason that we have so many shipyards on our books. Welcome, you've joined us for day two of our sea trials. We're on the Viking again, the 64. As with all Vikings, they come fitted with our Veeam Sportfish. We are hoping to push these S-Class propellers today to their limits. And I'm pretty confident that we'll hit some decent numbers. That's pretty good. We're at 41 now and still climbing. It's a bit of a wild ride, isn't it? The result of today's trial, we're pleased to see the improvements we've got. We're going to go back and have a look at, closer look at this data and compare the Class 1, Class S, and in the future, the Veeam Extreme propellers. So here we are, first look at the new props for the Viking. They're in our new high tensile alloy. 
and uh, they are looking stunning. So the next time I'll see these, or maybe not, they're gonna be on the, uh, the shafts on the Viking and we're gonna be giving them a good test. So as a result of some of our earlier trials, we've observed a trend in the thinner, thinner blade sections are generally outperforming the thicker blade section. By using a higher strength prop, we're able to actually thin the blades out commensurately with the increase in the strength of the material. We'll be comparing that result against the uh, standard nickel aluminium bronze prop, or the Class S and Class 1 props that we have. So today's test hopes to confirm that, that outcome, and we look forward to analysing the data after today's trial. Join us today, we're testing the new high tensile alloy, our new beam extreme. She's flying! So we're back in port, we've hit some decent numbers. We're gonna check them out, we're gonna do some reviews and we'll see you at Flips for the big reveal. Today, we're here to present something pretty exciting. Dan, you're gonna to have to tell us what made you go down this path. We thought we'd combine our knowledge of materials and design and try and find a way to give people something special. So, let's talk about results. When do we do the drum roll? I've got them right here. Okay. On our first trial with the uh, the standard class one propellers. 39.69 knots. We then lifted the boat and we switched out and put on the uh, the fully CNC class S propellers. 42.16 knots, 5.7% less fuel. So again, we lifted the Viking and we fitted the Veeam Extreme propellers. 43.05 knots. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah. How much fuel did we save? Yeah. Yeah. 11.9% fuel burn reduction. Oh. And there's more. Because when we tested the vessel with the Veeam Extreme propeller and the Veeam Extreme rudder, we got a little bit more. So alone, the uh, Twister rudder got a gain of 0.25 knots um, and also an additional 6.2% uh, fuel efficiency. So that gave a combined efficiency gain between the Veeam Stream rudder and propeller of 18.1%. Yeah, we think we've created something which is meaningful in terms of speed, but probably for the average consumer, they'll just be happy to save the dollars and, and, and reduce their, uh, their carbon footprint.